Now to Cartersville, where a number of people were arrested following a house party are fighting back. Police took dozens of young people into custody because officers say they smelled marijuana. News Edge reporter Denise Dillon joins us live with details. And Denise, several of those arrested are now taking legal action. Yeah, they say their whole lives were turned upside down because of those arrests. Now, several people are, have filed this lawsuit and more may join in as things progress. This lawsuit is against the city of Cartersville, Cartersville police, individual officers, and many more. It's a total of more than 30 defendants. For folks who've never had a criminal record and this comes at them, uh, it's a nightmare. A nightmare that will follow many young people around for the rest of their lives. Jerry Weber with the Southern Center for Human Rights is one of the attorneys representing a group of people arrested after a 21st birthday party in Cartersville a little more than a year ago. We all was just trying to have a good night. All was going well until Cartersville police showed up, saying they were responding to shots fired in the area. Police said they saw marijuana in plain sight and arrested everyone at the party, 65 people. Some were in jail up to three days. Some were strip searched. Others said they weren't even given cots to sleep on. And humanely, like animals. Within a few weeks, all charges were dropped, but the fact that they were arrested didn't go away. You can't undo the arrest. You can't undo the domino effect. That's been happening. And then a lot of them, their lives were turned upside down. You know, they lost their jobs, uh, military deferments. Uh, one of the guys was kicked off the basketball team. Seven of the party goers have now filed a lawsuit against the city, the police, individual officers and others claiming their civil rights were violated. They say the arrests and the national media attention affected their lives in a way that can't be repaired. Now these people, many of whom had never been arrested before, are going to have the this spot on their records all around the internet for the rest of their lives. So what do they want? Well, they're asking for financial damages. They want their mug shots removed from jail records. They want their records expunged. And they're also asking for some policy changes within the Cartersville Police Department. Now, I asked the city for a comment, but was told because of pending litigation, they could not comment. Reporting live in Cartersville, Denise Dillon, Fox 5 Interesting News. to see how it comes out. Denise, thanks.